Good morning. It is Thursday, October 17, and I just finished uh, cleaning up the kitchen. Soren's having one of our dehydrated apples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so good. I did not do school. We did not do school this morning because I'm saving it to do during. Yeah, I'm saving it to do during quiet time today. I had left dishes in the sink last night, which I do like, I hardly ever do. And so it was a whole project. And yesterday was Sophie's birthday. And so I had made a big meal, kind of fancy meal. So it just involved a ton of dishes. I didn't want to stay up super late. I was just so tired. I could hardly keep my eyes open last night. And um, I think I got up at like 6.45 today or something. So I decided that this morning would just be dedicated to catching up on housework and homemaking. And that, that kind of thing happens for all of us, I think. You just sometimes realize that that needs to be the ultimate priority at the moment. I feel like I can think more clearly when the house is tidy and there, the laundry just finished, so that's good. Yeah, and when things are just more in their place. That's not to say that every time we wanna do school, the house has to be totally tidy. You've seen in the other vlogs that it's not always tidy and it just, all the learning and imagination, it, it makes a mess and we do have to tidy up sometimes. But anyway, that was the priority for this morning. Um, it's about 10.20, so we could technically still fit school in this morning. We'll see if we do a little bit before lunch, but I want to make chili for lunch because there aren't a lot of leftovers left from the pot roast yesterday. And chili sounds really good right now. Say good morning. Good morning. Are you eating an apple, Svea? Mm -hmm. It's yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good girl. I just got her a sleep sack. It just came in the mail from Amazon. The kind that she had when she was really little and it was cold at the apartment. Um, but hopefully she'll like it. She doesn't really like her feet being constrained <laughs> at night. She's never been really into being tightly swaddled and stuff. So it's like a looser Sherpa lined. I'll just show you, but it's a, it's a nice sleep sack. I thought it would help on colder nights. So here is the sleep sack. Svea, I'm showing them your sleep sack. See, look at that. It's got like unicorns and it's gray and pink. I can't remember the brand of it, but it's it's so fuzzy and like Sherpa lined on the inside. This one, I got her a size 18 to 24 months and hopefully it helps her stay nice and cozy at night. Sometimes her toes are cold. She doesn't always like socks on either. You know how that goes. So These apples from our dehydrator, from my mother-in-law's dehydrator that we're borrowing, um, they have turned out really well. It's really fun in like a whole bag. One of these bags, this is like two batches here, and a batch is like 10 apples. So this is like 20 apples. They really dehydrate down, don't they? So the kitchen is tidied up. It did not look like this half an hour ago. It did not. So I'm very, very happy, very pleased. These are those sourdough um, cranberry pecan harvest buns from yesterday. They are so good warm, so really fun and the sink is all wiped out and sanitized just everything is finally back in its place the dishwasher is going because it was like a sink full of dirty dishes which i hate i just like never i never do that to myself and now i remember why but i got other things hand washed and oofta as we say here in minnesota i'm glad that is done the kids have been busy doing magnet tiles which is so fun it's like you guys have created a whole city a what? A train set. Oh, a train set. How fun. <laughs> it's so sad opening it up without bubbles here. She's the, I think maybe Penny has been laying eggs off and on too. Possibly, maybe pebbles, but it's just sad not having bubbles. They're so peaceful when they're drinking their water. Honey. I know you 
miss your mama. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, cutie. Peekaboo. Where's Svea? <laughs> all right, laundry is almost all the way done. I'm going to try a new chili recipe today. It is one that I saw someone share on Instagram and she said she added a pound of ground turkey. So I'm going to add a pound of ground beef because that's what we have. It looks really good though. It has beans, lots of beans, and then mushrooms too, which I can probably hide well for, from the kids. <laughs> and I went shopping in the basement as I do. That's where we keep all of our pantry. It's like a giant pantry area that I've created. So all our canned goods are down there. I actually am going to add extra beans. I got a couple extra cans because we like our chili more, with more beans, more like a stew. And then this is my favorite cornbread mix, this Krusty's honey cornbread. So I thought this could be fun. Have I shared my favorite knife yet? This is, what is it, Edge Keeper, or maybe that's not the brand but um, it is wonderful. I love that the, like the sheath of it here, it sharpens itself every time you put it in and out, if you kind of let it scrape there. I love this knife, it is so good. It's so sharp, obviously it can stay sharp, and it works so well. So I actually have two of these, and I will link it down below. We, we love this knife, I'm always reaching for it every single day. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid Leftover cake is always amazing. Okay, here are the tweaks I made to the chili. I did, I added that pound of ground beef. I did less chili powder. As you can see, I did about a tablespoon. I doubled all of the beans, so two cans instead of one for each of those. And I added, or I used six tablespoons of brown sugar. And it was amazing, so definitely try this out. I just put Svea down for her nap. I know it, I'm in the bathroom. I was gonna say, I know it looks like I'm in the bathroom. I am in the bathroom. I didn't wanna bug Bjorn downstairs who's in the living room working on some stuff, but um, the kids are all in the upstairs rooms here. So here I am. I just wanted to chat real quick. We had an amazing chili for lunch today. You have to try that recipe. I will try to link it down below, but if you wanna see the tweaks I made, just maybe try to screenshot when I was showing you the actual chili recipe with what I wrote as my tweaks. It's a beautiful, sunny, blustery day outside. The kitchen and living room are tidied up. I might work on editing a video. We do need to do some school during quiet time today. It's a little bit later. Right now it is about 2.30, so we have probably till four o'clock with quiet time today. It's been going for a little while. I was just putting Svea down for her nap. We don't really have plans for the rest of the day today, which is totally fine, like I said last night or in yesterday's vlog. I just really wanted a peaceful day. And so I love the bright sunshine. It helps boost everyone's mood. And I think I need to remember to have a big glass of water. I also sometimes just need to sit down, but I don't usually do a lot of sitting down during the day at all, unless I'm sitting down to edit a video or something like that during quiet time. So it's time, oh, I can hear Svea. She's singing and talking to her babies right now in her crib. She's about to fall asleep. But anyway, time for me to get working on some stuff. Kiss the baby on the forehead. <laughs> then what happens? Do you kiss the baby again? <laughs> okay, the kitchen is all tidied up. The dehydrator's going, you can hear that. And I'm going to head off to a mom's night. 
Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, but I am going to a mom's night. I did not dress up at all. I'm wearing my Yellowstone National Park sweatshirt and I'm just tired at the end of the day. But um, I have gone to one of these mom's nights before, I think at least one. I've never really been able to go until more recently. It's just been, you know, Bjorn's had meetings and stuff like that. But basically we just hang out. It's other homeschool, Christian homeschool moms who are like mostly members of um, either my church or it's sister church or members of our homeschool co-op. So even though I'm an introvert, I am going to rally and go to the mom's night. It's always really encouraging whenever I hang out with these moms. And yeah, I, it's already 6.42 now. I think it technically started at six. So I'm going for a little bit of time. I might stay till eight or something. But anyway, that's where I am off to now. Hello, it is about 9.45 at night now. I'm back from that mom's night. It was really, really fun. Just a sweet time of meeting with other moms. And it's a type of community I didn't always think that I would have. So even though I'm an introvert and it's easier to be a homebody and stay at home, I love when I actually commit to going to something like this. And I we even prayed, we had snacks and then we prayed for our families and for our children and to find like-minded Christian homeschooling moms. Like, wow, what a gift. But if you are in a situation where you feel like you don't have community like that, just um, keep on looking, I guess I could say, or keep on praying that it will come to you and see who you can connect with. This all came about because I met one of the women at a Bible study, at community Bible study, actually. I think it was. And so then that kind of opened up into um, me being invited to other little groups or just meeting other women that she knew. And so anyway, really thankful for that. And there's nothing more refreshing when you're just plain tired or feeling worn out than praying with other women for your families and for your children. And the fun snacks and laughter and conversation and stuff doesn't hurt either. But since it is almost 10 p.m. and I had been telling Bjorn all day, I'm totally going to go to bed at like 9.30. Um, I need to go to bed. And laundry's put away, dishes are done. Bjorn and the kids had a nice evening and I am ready to rest. So anyway, I'm going to end today's vlog here. We have some fun stuff we're hoping to do tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us yet again. Hope you've been enjoying Vlogtober. If you have been, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel here. I won't always be doing daily vlogs, stuff like that. I tend to do more motherhood and homemaking and especially homeschooling content but this has been a really fun way to mix it up and I hope it's been fun for you to kind of get this glimpse into our, our truly, our everyday life. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.